Hello, Ian from Hyperspace Hobbies here. Today, I have the privilege of bringing you the Astra Militarum Army Set, Cadia Stands. This box also comes with a special edition codex, and I just can't wait to see what Commissar Yarek and Creed are up to. What's that? <laughs> no, no, that can't be. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, this box is massive, and it's actually quite heavy. It is very dense. I can actually feel it. There's not a lot of push. There's not a lot of wasted packaging here. This thing, this thing is packed. <laughs> I'm super excited to show you guys what is inside here. Take a look at that. This imagery is just awesome. I love this stuff. <clears throat> and of course, then there's the back that shows all the models that we get to put together. Just so cool. All right, so in this box, there are 20 Cadian shock troops. Acadian Command Squad, a Sentinel, and two Ordnance Teams. Those would be the new Heavy Weapons Teams, the extra big uh, Heavy Weapons Teams. Very cool. I'm also really interested uh, to see the ins and outs of the Sentinel. Yeah, like, I can feel this is, like, bulging. It's so densely packed. <laughs> oh. Couldn't, it just couldn't make the box a little bigger. I've often thought, like, in the 41st millennium where I would end up if I would be on some type of farm planet where I work 20 hour days and die at the age of 30 from radiation poisoning. Probably not a bad way to end up. <laughs> or would I be conscripted at birth into the Astra Militarum like many of us would? Either way, it's terrible. <laughs> not a good place to be a human. All right, first look uh, is our infantry squad here. They've given us an ample amount of heads. 25 heads in this kit. So you can really mix and match and personalize, which is great. And a couple feminine looking heads as well, so you can make a couple of females in the Astronaut term, which is great. Way to go, GW. Yeah, this kit is awesome. You've got your Vox caster here. You've got a Grenade launcher, your flamethrower, plasma gun, melt a gun, chain sword for the sergeant, little shoulder pads. Oh, this stuff is just so awesome to see a new kit for Cadian shock troops. It's great. And your secondary kit, that would make your full 20. And then we've got the starting sprue for our ordnance team. This shows the heavy last cannon and uh, some of the newer guns that they have. These guys actually look like they're gonna be really interesting. I wonder how they work. 
Hopefully they work similar to the old heavy weapons teams. I've always had a lot of success with those. They just look like a beefier, uh, bigger, badder version of that. Yeah, it looks great. And the Sentinel. So Sentinel comes with a plasma gun, a auto cannon, a little last cannon, a heavy flamer, and a multi-laser. He's also got this chain sword arm and a hunter killer missile and what looks like is a spotlight too. Plenty of awesome bits on this. Just a great looking model and you can see the little pilot, the start of the pilot right there. Super excited. Uh, looks like we've got the rest of the ordnance teams here. Comes with two ordnance teams, so this would be a little bit, this would be like the main chassis of both, and the extra last cannon, and some, some shells and stuff too. Lots of different heads, like I said, the infantry unit, there's 25 different heads on it and there's two sprues of that so you've got 50 Cadian heads. Looks like there's quite a few on this one as well so you can really um, swap around some of the heads you have. There's even ones here that are wearing like snow goggles like shades. So they look really awesome. Wonderful detail, a lot of like grimaced faces, a lot of pain in some of these guys eyes. <laughs> if you're living in the 41st millennium as a human you probably have pain in your eyes. And then there's the Cadian Command Squad, which comes with a variety of different weapons. And this awesome flag here. It's got flamethrowers, extra melta guns, plasma guns. Yeah, it's got a it's got a pretty decent sprue here. And of course, a ton of different heads. Like how many different heads? Let's count them. 16. 16 different heads. They come with dozens of varieties from a screaming face to a guy grabbing some, oh I assume part of the Vox caster, guy kind of grabbing like some headphones to the Commissar head. Yes, just awesome. So excited to see this new kit. So on this sprue it comes with two different power fists, two different power swords, two chain swords, double doubling up on melta guns, flamers, plasma guns. Looks like a really detailed Vox caster. This is a really cool kit. You got a plasma pistol here. I'm sure there's two of those on here. Yep, there are. And a bunch of different grenades and uh, little upgrade shoulder bits too. Little bits you can kind of like put on the shoulders to uh, accent, give him a little bit extra armor. So excited to put this stuff together. Can't wait to see it on the tabletop. All right, back to the box. So what we have here is a poster, a wonderful poster. Sadly, this poster took a bit of battle damage. As I mentioned, this box was absolutely jam-packed. So sadly, this wonderful poster took a bit of damage on its way uh, shipping across from wherever. I love this image. Like, what, a, what, a, what an awesome, powerful image that is. Yeah, that guy's gonna have a really, really rough day. Uh, in the kit, of course, the bases for your command squad, which are actually a little bit bigger than your infantry squad bases. Then you've got your sentinel base and your two ordnance teams bases. A Cadian transfer sheet. and all of the cards, which is a great addition because sometimes having these cards just makes learning the codex that much easier. Speaking of the codex, the limited edition codex that comes with Cadia Stands has this beautiful human on it, riding, I don't know, Penelope, the awesome war horse. <laughs> uh, and then of course, all of the instructions are on the inside of the book. And I'll be getting into this book 
uh, very soon. But uh, for right now, I can't show you any parts of it. This is the perfect box to pick up if you're planning on starting an Astra Militarum army or are wanting to reinforce the army you already have. Thanks so much for watching. Ian from Hyperspace Hobbies, signing off.